This year has been an exciting and eventful one in my life, full of lots of positive changes overall. I've lost 25 pounds this year, I have started creating and uploading videos more regularly, and I'm just feeling better mentally and physically than I have in quite a long time. I took some time to reflect on everything that's happened so far this year and really boil down the essential five habits the things that I'm doing on a regular basis that have allowed me to accomplish this. And I wanna share that with you in this video. Break the switch. The first habit is one that I probably wouldn't have even thought about six months ago, but it's the result of my recent trip to Los Angeles where I went to a restaurant that had a breakfast salad. The server recommended that we get the salad and I ended up trying it and it was amazing. So. I started eating mixed greens for breakfast every single day. I don't eat the mixed greens by themselves. I add in other breakfast items as well, like pastured eggs, avocados, and diced tomatoes. And then I'll usually just pour some olive oil right over the top, and it is delicious. It might seem a little bit weird at first, but this is something that I highly recommend you try. It's something I do every day, and I totally love it. The second habit that has really helped change my life is reducing my sugar intake substantially. This is something that I've done in the past, and I'm seeing just as great results this time as well. You don't have to do it every day. In fact, sometimes one day per week, I'll just eat something random like a donut or whatever I wanna eat. But in general, keeping the desserts and different high sugar foods like juices and soda and things like that completely out of my system has been an incredibly positive change. In general, I find myself able to think more clearly, I feel better, I don't have energy crashes like I used to have when I would eat higher carbs and sugar all the time. The third habit that has made a big difference for me is drinking a ton of water. I used to drink just water every now and then, but now I've been making a serious point to drink at least 64 ounces of water every day. In fact, I have a 32 ounce water bottle that I just go and fill up first thing in the morning and just drink it all before I do anything else. Now, I know for some people, it's kind of hard to just drink plain water. And I found out about something recently, is you can put orange peels or lemon peels or different things in water to infuse it. So it has a little bit more flavor, but no additional calories. So it's not like soda or other things that have sugar and really nasty stuff in it. So that's a way that if you don't like drinking just plain water, you can drink more by infusing it with some different flavors and you can experiment with that your own way. The fourth really essential habit for me has been going to the gym six days per week. Every week I take Saturday off off and I go every other day. Even if it's just for 10 minutes and I just go walk on the treadmill because my legs are sore or I'm not feeling it, I just go. And sometimes I'll work out for an hour or an hour and a half if I'm lifting or doing different things, but the most important habit for me has just been going because once I'm there, I usually will get into the mood to actually run or do something more substantial. So just taking the action, even if you don't plan on doing that much, that has been huge. The interesting thing about working out is that even though I've lost 25 pounds this year, I've also, based on the body fat analysis, gained 10 pounds of muscle this year. So that means if I didn't work out, I would have actually lost more weight. So it's not as important necessarily to work out if you are just trying to lose weight and you wanna eat healthier, but I found that the repetition of showing up to the gym sort of makes all the puzzle pieces fit together. It helps encourage me to eat better, stay more consistent, and really just stay on top of my game overall. So that's been a very positive change for me. The fifth habit is a simple one, but when I thought about it, I really did realize that it has seriously enhanced my productivity and my creativity when it comes to making these videos and more. And that is simply write down every idea you have. Have a practice of recording the things that pop into your head, 
the different ideas you come across on a day-to-day -day basis, and just put them all in one place. I love just recording my ideas and putting them down because whenever I sit down to do a video and I'm not sure what I want to do, I just open that notebook and flip through and I can find the different ideas I've had in the past and things come right up. It's a great source for inspiration and you can really start combining and generating ideas for anything in your life. When I was reflecting on these five habits that have had a pretty substantial impact on my life this year, I realized that individually they're pretty small changes, but all together and repeated over and over, they really did make a substantial impact. So no matter what you choose to do, I would highly recommend that you just repeat it over and over, even if it's a small change, because that's how the biggest changes can happen over time.